How to Build a Cartesian Diver. So what are we going to need to build our diver? An empty 2 liter bottle, some cold water, filled to about here, some straws, some paper clips of different sizes. So to create our Cartesian Diver, we're going to be trapping air in the straw, so we'll be folding it in half. When we fold our straw in half, it doesn't need to be exact, right about here. And just make sure there are no cracks. Now that we have our folded straw, the next step is to pinch and fold one end of the straw, so that the pinched end can be pushed into the other end of the straw, making a triangle. Now we add some mass. I like to put a large paper clip on first, and then attach a smaller paper clips to this one. So now when I squeeze the bottle, my diver should sink. Mine sinks. How about yours? But wait, if you're interested in how this works, look at this. The water pressure acts on the diver, and the net force of the water acting on the diver is pointed up, and we call this force the buoyant force. The diver also has a mass, and this is interacting with the earth. This force of the earth on the diver is called weight, or force due to gravity. As the bottle is squeezed, water flows into the diver and the air bubble gets smaller, which means the buoyant force decreases. At the same time, the diver's weight increases. The diver is now negatively buoyant and sinks. At this neutral buoyancy here, the weight and the buoyant force of the diver are the same, and with practice you can get your diver to hover right in the middle of the bottle. If we further squeeze the bottle, more water flows into the diver. The air bubble gets even smaller which means the buoyant force decreases again while the weight increases, meaning the diver sinks. Once we release the bottle, water flows out of the diver. The air bubble expands, so the buoyant force increases while the weight decreases. This makes the diver positively buoyant and the diver rises.